Good evening, good evening, good evening, and welcome to another exciting episode of Lawrence playing Factorio Angel Bobs. Okay, let's start thinking about Jeevalite then, shall we? <clears throat> so I want to make Jeevalite chunks, which means crush Jeevalite and purified water. Crush Jeevalite is easy enough, that's just Jeevalite through a crusher. Purified water, as far as I remember, is that... Oh, you can use oxygen and hydrogen, or you can use water to make saline. Oh, saline water is probably quite good, because I can just dump that. Um... Get it out of a barrel, make it from gases. I'm not at that stage yet. Could chill steam. I think that's quite energy intensive because you need to boil the water and then unboil it. <laughs> uh, this is just getting more and more ridiculous. Okay, let's go for the the one that makes this this one. The one that, so in a in a hydro plant or hydro plant two or three, which I've which I've got. I've been using. I think. Um, yeah, I've got I've got the technology for that. So you just take in water and it pumps out saline water which can go into a clarifier and purified water. Okay, what do I even do with that? So I then have a flotation cell. Great, okay. Alright, you know what, let's start off, start slowly. What I need to do first is, is build a, something to empty the train and crush everything. How much of this am I going to need? Let's go for this scale, I think. So I want to make one of these and put it in about, yeah, about there. Um, I don't need them. Okay, so the railways are done, and just finish off the signals. There. Right. So that means at least the um, any other trains that need to go through will still carry on working properly, despite the extra um, railway lines. Oh, I just only made one train stop. And that's called... Achieve a light drop. And it should be a sort of suspicious yellow colour like the other one. <coughs> Alright. This is going to be a, um, a rather sped up section of the episode, I think, because I'm doing a lot of building work here. So I think I should be able to get a lot of stuff done in this episode. Um, that's just probably two, a couple, at least a couple of hours of play, uh, without, without, hopefully without you getting too bored, because it'll all run much, much quicker. Uh, let's get some more of the miners for next time I go up north. And some inserters. They're up here somewhere, I'm sure of it. I need more grenades. Nope, we've gone too far again, as usual. There they are. I always miss the inserters for some reason, they're just difficult to find. <laughs> certainly don't need this wall anymore. Oh, I am going to need um, a lot more crushers. Oh, and <laughs> I put a load of those in my um, dumping warehouse. <laughs> I forgot about that. Let's go and see what's in there. I'm starting to think, whenever I invent a new tier of belt, the first thing I should do is, ha is lay two of the two long belts running up and down the sides of the base so that I can... Uh, sprint up and down there much more quickly. I might need all sorting facilities, I'm not sure. I'm probably going to need crushers. don't think I need that many all sorting facilities, but I'll take them anyway. Uh, I might need some underneath these. Why have I got so many yellow belts in here? That's interesting. Let's take some stone in case I need furnaces. Okay, that'll do. And then down here somewhere I've got the um, crushers being built. Is this the crushers? Yeah, I think so. Yes. But only in tens. That one I was going to extend to two stacks, like that. This one I need to extend to two stacks as well. I don't need any more sorters, I've got a lot of those, and I'm probably not going to be using those anyway for this job, I think. <coughs> I've got my 150 inserters though, that's the main, th main thing I needed. And of course the crushers. Uh, although I've only got 10 of those, so I'm going to need to go back and get some more, but at least they're at the bottom end of the base. Right, so, two. Oh. Do I really need one there? Maybe I do. There. And uh, no, not you, you, you're a crush Jeevalite instead. And so are all of the rest of you. Okay, that's a start. <laughs> now, Jeevalite crushing produces, yeah, crushed Jeevalite and uh, crushed stone. So I've still got these this crushed stone pouring out that I need to deal with. I'm just going to throw this on the same belt as all of the rest of the crushed stone. And there's probably not going to really be room for it. Uh, maybe there will. This doesn't look too bad. Oh, of course, this is only going on to one half whatever you want to call it, system thing. Um, oh dear, that isn't working at all. <laughs> there we go. That's a pretty terrible design, but never mind. It'll work, that's what matters. You know what they say, it's stupid but it works, it ain't stupid. Right, back down here now, we have odd things to do with all of the... Um, ah, this is where we're going to have that prop same problem again. <laughs> um, because what I'm going to do is I am going to put in the... Um, additional row of um, crushers for this one and I'm probably going to go up and do the one above as well because 
it is causing balance problems and means the trains don't unload as quickly as they should and and, and, and it's just going to cause it is eventually or i say eventually probably fairly soon it's going to start causing throughput problems and we don't want any throughput problems do we no sir no we don't ah, 20. <clears throat> it's going to require quite a lot more building down here though unfortunately and then a bit of a rethink of the um of the uh balancer up here to, it's keeping everything in in check and then, right, each of these I'm splitting, so I need to do two rows like that. Coal comes through here. What's, what? Why don't I have any coal? Seriously, why do I not have any... What's going on? Oh, okay. That's probably the least bad reason I could have not had any coal. <laughs> I was worried that um, my trains and mining systems or something like that had stopped working and I was about to lose power to everything, and that would be an absolutely horrendous job to try and regain control of. There we go, turn that round and it's working fine. Now what I need here actually, is I need to fuel these trains. So while I think of it, I'm going to add in a feed off here like this. Ever learn to build in a straight line. Alright, let's just use that power, <laughs> power pole. So that's that one. I've still got quite a lot of fuel in, in these, I chucked it, obviously chucked in a lot of wood. Um, they're not getting fuel up at the top are they? That one particularly is. No, there's no coal anywhere near here, so they do need to be Oh, it probably got fueled up when it went to here. Yes, from there. Okay, that's um, that makes sense. So now I want to do exactly the same thing again here, like that. I suppose I could use burner inserters down here, so I don't need power poles, but I don't think it's worth it. There we go. And yes, here. Oh yeah. Do I have any furnaces? No, I think I would. Yeah. There we go, that's now symmetrical. So I've got eight machines pulling from this train carriage and eight machines pulling from this one. So, in theory, I should keep about the same amount of um, steratite in. steratite? Sapphirite? Whichever it's steratite, I think, in, in all of these. Um, still got the problem that it's coming into the chests almost as quickly as it's coming out. No, only slightly more quickly than it's coming out, meaning that I'm, um, I don't get to build up much of a buffer unless the whole thing backs up. So there's a risk of the trains going and then coming back and uh, going and then these these running out and, um, and my iron supply drying up. But it's not too much of a problem if it does. It is just iron after all. And whilst yeah, okay, it's probably the at least at this stage of the game, it's the um, the element you or the material you use the most of. It's not like coal where if it runs out you can't get it's difficult to get it started again. You just have to wait for the train to come back round again. And so a sort of a couple of minutes of upset won't really matter at all. <coughs> That's now a, um, a full belt coming up there, so it doesn't need to have that funky splittery nonsense in. Oh, what have we got now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight down to. Okay, if I. Sp <laughs> I'm just going to replace all of this with a straight splitter con concoction, um, because to be quite honest, I can't be bothered. Um, and the supply should be reasonably what's going on there, there we go. Um, everything should be coming through fairly evenly now this one here um, there we go okay so that's now in theory at least drawing pretty much evenly from all of the, um, the inputs when I get more outputs I'll link them in probably here and here and mess everything up but never mind um, I could do it properly I might I might even do it properly you never know we'll see okay so that's iron actually properly finished now for the, spe the, the, the size I was originally going for. I'm pretty sure at some point I'll need to double it again, but that's not a problem. We can, we, I can I can do that. Okay, Jeeva Light now. Oh, I needed the... Um, I want the coal down here as well. Not that it, I don't think I'm going to need it for furnaces, at least not straight away, but I am going to want it for the um, for the train. Did I put that in the right place? Yes, I did. <coughs> and this train's going to be very short of fuel when it turns up, because... I didn't have very much coal on me when I was up there setting, getting it set up, so I think I put about 30 in it in total between the two locomotives. There we go. Coal in there and there, and power for it there. Now if I nip up here, that train, I want you to go to the Juvelite pickup until full, and then Juvelite drop until empty. Why are you? Why were you not already at the Juvelite pickup? Also, apparently I forgot to put a... Um, radar in while I was up here doing that. When the train comes down, I, I can always ride it back up again. Okay, you are full, apparently. Oh, I'm missing a, um, a way in down there. Let's go and sort that out. 
So that's why my trains have been taking it a long way around. No, wait. What? Why didn't it just go up here? Oh, that. That shouldn't be there. If it was anywhere, it should be in here. But I think that's probably okay. Follow that train. Okay, I'm going to nip back up top. Um, so you just... Oh, you're almost... No, you're not really empty. Okay, let's just go. Um, yeah, about that, I'll do. Then I can put in the rest of the miners. And the... Um, the rest of these miners. And the... Um, there's something else I wanted to do. Oh, yeah, radar. That was the other thing. Let's try and keep my lines nice and neat, shall we? Apparently it's harder than it looks. And then the radar up here. And this will probably cause some um, attacks, of course. But um, I think I've got enough guns to deal with that. And back to the south again. Oh, in fact, they have been attacking. <laughs> and uh, yes, apparently I do have enough guns to deal with, the, uh, deal with the threat. Let's see, this time hopefully it'll go in the correct way. Rather than taking the long way around. Yeah, there we go. Um, stuck on trees. There we go. Okay, so I've now got this crushed diva light, and I need to work out what to do with it. Purified water. Now, there's a lake just over to, over to the right here. There's also one down here. I'm tempted to go for this one, the one on the left, actually, because that will stop me having to pull the water up across where the bus is eventually probably going to end up. Um, I can then probably do the rest of it on site, I suspect. So if I just bring up, yeah, if I bring up normal water, and then I'll purify it up here. Um, so that means I need to start building, uh, and I need to make purified water, so I need a hydro plant, and I need a flotation cell, or a couple of dozen of them perhaps, I don't know. Let's see, hydro, hydro plant, hydro plant needs stone bricks. I have this feeling there's going to be a bit of running around grabbing resources in order to get all of this stuff up and, up and working properly. 60, jeez. And I'm going to need a clarifier as well, I'm pretty sure to get rid of that saline water that's going to produce, because I don't think there's much I can do with this at the moment. Um, okay, so that's that. Then there was the um, flotation cell, wasn't there? That was the other thing. And that needs steel and clay bricks. Okay. Clay bricks are those ones? Yes. And steel, not a problem. I'll just build one of each for now, and then I'll see how quickly they produce their stuff. Flotation cell. So I guess we put that like that, maybe? Or like that. Maybe like that, actually. Um, but where the car is. So, because I'm, I'm going to take the Jeevalite in as well. Oh no, that's, this one's Jeevalite. I'll take Jeevalite in as well, so it needs to be down two from there. From that. I don't know how many inputs it's got, how many feeders and empties it's going to need. I'll do that for now. Okay, and so the. That one. Go down here, do that, and which one's which? This is the pure. This is the purified water at the bottom, I think. So I'll take that from there up here, like this. <laughs> Typical one short. Uh, that's fine. There's, there's enough slack for that. Um, and then where's my uh, clarifier? There it is. I can go there, and we'll just dump straight into it because I don't think I have any need for salty water down here. What comes out of this? I'm not sure what that is. Um, fluoric wastewater. Can I do anything useful with that at the moment? Can't even search for it. Okay, let's um, go this way. I can put it in a barrel. Oh, I can turn it back into purified water if I have water treatment too. I mean, that seems worthwhile just to have a closed loop, um, or I can void it. Okay, let's let's whip up this technology, and then I can have a second one of these in the gap here where it won't fit. I can move the whole thing down a little bit and have another one of these machines and it can just take in the, the waste from here and spit out useful stuff as well. And that'll reduce the amount of water I have to bring up here because I suspect I'm going to have quite a lot of this... Oh, what's getting damaged? Where was that even? No idea. I suspect I'm going to have quite a lot of these machines and therefore I'm going to need quite a lot of purified water. There we go. Uh, but for now, let's just start laying some pipe. I've only got 35. I'm going to get some more pipe. I could do with some more straight pipe as well. There we go. I'm impressed how um, how far through the red ammunition seems to have got, actually. It's going all the way down here. Yeah, there's little bits of yellow in it as well, but oops, mostly it's red, well, all the way to here. So that presumably means my guns down that way have been quite active, even though I've not been keeping an eye on them. 
and they've been pulling through all of the um, the other ammunition and just yeah just getting through it I guess that's a good thing I'm not really sure but it um, at least means my guns are will eventually get onto the um, the better types of the ammunition so I think it's a good good thing from that point of view all right let's run this pipe straight into a cliff of course what I put there okay oh going so well. No, it's not what I wanted to do. What was that? <laughs> now, I'm loosely aware that I should potentially be thinking about putting pumps in every so often on these. Uh, excuse me. No, I thought I was going to sneeze, but... Um, and I was right. Okay. Um, I should possibly be considering putting pumps in here so it doesn't lose pressure and therefore throughput. But given... Ow. Given that I expect to be... Um, reusing quite a lot of the water that comes in. I'm cautiously optimistic that I won't actually need all that much. I guess we'll find out. Okay, there we go. Producing all of the fun stuff we need there. And also all kinds of interesting stuff coming out here. Right. Let's have a think about the speeds of these things. So, this is doing a... How do I find out? Where's the information? Right. There we go. A two-second recipe that takes in two crushed uvalite. So it's using one crushed uvalite per second, but it's running at 0.75 speed. So it's so it's using 0.75 for uvalite a second. This is doing a one second recipe that produces two. So I'm going to need to have like, and it's run, also running at what is it? Oh, and its crafting speed is two. That's quite good. Okay, so I'm going to need to have about eight of these on a row. That's crazy. Um, but okay. And I'm going to need a lot more stone bricks for that, and I'm going to need a lot more flotation cells. I may just be over specking again and building far more of everything than I actually need to, but I still think it's um, it's good to have plenty. In fact, how what have I got? What am I doing here? So if I if I pull off this one and off this one, then that'll be pulling evenly from both um, both locomotives. So that's yeah. So that's probably quite a good way of doing it. And then I'll have six seven on each okay so I'm going to need what lots of it's flotation cells I need and that's steel clay bricks and circuit boards one of the circuit boards electronics boards I think it was that's top ones where's clay, bri oh, clay bricks still right up there. I don't know whether this is something I'm going to need in enormous quantities in the future as well should I be um, should I actually be automating the construction of these things I probably should be really Okay, that's eight, so I can put four on each side now, and call that enough for now. Because when I, when, when I sooner or later find out that this isn't enough, I've got room to expand potential. well, off this one. Oh, and there's supposed to be another set of these on down here, but I'm not going to bother with those yet. I'll put them in, I'll put them in actually, but I won't bother to link them all up yet, cause I, basically because I can't be bothered. Um, set these up like this. You know what the ridiculous thing about all this is? This is just making me the um, the Jeevalite chunks. This isn't. The, it, there's still at least one more step to go before I even get zinc ore, let alone um, zinc itself. This is a very, very going to be a very, very long chain of um, of things. And these are also, and I've run out of belts. Um, and they're also quite well mixed. There's yeah, there's the Jeevalite chunks, but then there's also um, whatever these crystal things are as well. Oh, actually, there's only two output, two um, products that. Are, well, no, actually, that's not true. There's there's more than two products because there's the liquids as well. Oh, no, uh, I'm going to worry about oops, where those are going in a minute uh, because I want to move this down and out first. Okay, so I needed what? Was it? Oh, it was going to be two hydro plants, wasn't it? What are the chances I've actually got enough stuff to build another hydro plant? No, need stone bricks. Have I got any stone? I've got some stone. Let's have I got a furnace make a furnace. Let's just make the stone bricks down here. Okay, so the hydro plant is going to go... Am I going to put in another... Yes, I'm going to have even more of those in here. I need... So I'm going to have another thing like... Um, uh... <laughs> this is complicated. And I've run out of belts to sketch with. Uh, pretend these pipes are belts for now to sketch for the sketching purposes. So I'm going to have a belt coming across here like that. And then a grabber there. And those machines are five. And another grabber. And then another belt out there. Okay, so I can build below there, basically. So that hydro plant... Go there. Let's put it 
down a bit. Always, always leave more room. Rule one of Factorio. And I want to turn fluoric wastewater into something else. That produces the... What are those? What are they? Purified and mineralized. Okay. So the purified water is what we need on these inputs. Which is going to be here. And then coming down here. And like that. Okay. Wastewater. Oh... Right. Okay. That need that needs um some more 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 things putting up there. But I'm thinking too hard at the moment. Can't 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 do it. Can't do anything else. Uh, that goes there like that. And I need to take this out somewhere and clarify it. Right. Um. Matt's working. Whether it's I mean it's presumably it's not going to produce. It's obviously not going to produce enough to keep all of these things running because that would be breaking the laws of physics, etc, etc. That's excessive. So I'm sure it's that. Jack 2 I think is excessive. There we go. Still need more belts. Oh yeah, I was going to grab them, make another one of these. What's the hydroplant 2 take? Oh, that's manageable. When I finally find these aren't enough, I'll um, whip up one of them. Okay, so the thing is, I don't want this, this one, to run if there's a decent amount already out here. So I need one of those top-up valves. Why have I got two of them? Let's use the one that doesn't require circuitry. Um, that can go there, and when I need one of those little tanks, then, like that. And you're doing that purification. That's in the way. Okay, that's working. Um, I think that's probably correct. Right, but I don't have my, I don't have my clarifiers now. I can't build another one because it requires stone bricks. Can I get them from there? Can I now build a clarifier? Yes. So I'm th pretty pretty sure I need a clarifier for each of my um, byproducts. So I have one here for that. Was that mineralized water? I think it was. And then one here for the saline. Or the other way around. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm sure with some sort of cunning use of pumps and actually I don't know if it'd let me if I could do, use a cunning use of pumps and valves and things to do, have them both go to one but I don't think it's worth it. Right so that I think is now the basic idea I think is probably functional. I'm going to need to go and get um, get some more belts of course now so let's let's do that and try and get this finished off. Oh, I've been going for about an hour and a half now by sort of real time but I think it's been a slow enough episode in places that um, it's probably a lot less than that in um, in actual compressed and talking time. So I'll ooh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, belts. Um, so I'll carry on a little bit longer because I think there's been a lot of me just sort of sitting here scratching my head and, and not actually getting anything built. So I think I can carry on without it being a horrifically long episode. Oh, some of these should be near side inserters. That right, lots and lots of shiny things. Okay, um, so I'm going to have a lot of these, what are these things even? Purple geodes, right, um, what are they even for? Um, I can turn them into crystal dust and crushed stone, good, so, or into crystal slurry. Alright, what's crystal dust used for apart from getting high? Ooh, shiny. So I can turn crystal dust into all kinds of gems, or apparently biter eggs, why would I want to do that? Or crystal slurry again, or crystal slurry, right, good, um, I'm sure all of that's complete, is very, very useful somewhere. Um, okay, the Jeevalite chunks. Those do go into an ore sorting facility, and I've got some of those in my pocket. Um, and then I get a bajillion different types of ore out of them, out of it, and some slag as well, which I need to crush. Okay. Um, again, good. <laughs> so I think this is probably going to be another produce all of the um, crystal stuff and just shove it in a warehouse for now and just forget about it. The question is, how long will it take to for me to produce so much of it that it starts to get in the way? And I suppose the answer to that is it depends how much zinc I use and how much I start using the whether I use the um, all the additional um, whether I start using all the addi additional minerals I'm making from it. Like so, the, there's the iron and copper coming out of this as well. Now, do I use those as a main source of iron and copper, or do I use them as a minor source of iron and copper? And I guess that comes down to how much zinc I use because I'm going to need to use up whatever else I produce. But I don't want to have, I don't want to be relying on this for my mate as my main source of iron, and then discover that I don't have enough iron because I'm not using the zinc up quickly enough and it's backed up. I don't know why I'm chopping all those down by hand. Um, so I think that means we, well, we extend this a bit further to start with. Why have this? Why have these stopped? 
What are you missing? Oh, right, I haven't built an output for this. And I'm out of underground pipes again. Well, where did this go? Uh, oh, it goes right over there. Okay. Okay, this is pretty slow at um, producing stuff. Oh, I need another one here. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I don't think I need... Well, I can potentially have a lot more of these machines in here, which means I do need to have quite a long runoff of these belts, just in case I end up deciding I want large quantities of whatever it is later. Put a warehouse in here, which I won't have enough ender things for. No. Um, do this for now. Chunks to the right, non-chunkies to the left. Okay, that's what's first to do that. <laughs> oh dear, I'm very coffee today. I'll try and remember to cut all of those out in the um, in the edit. If I don't, then I apologise. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I don't know where warehouses are in this. I can never find them. There we go. Okay, I've got enough of that. Warehouse. I probably don't need to go straight to warehouse every time I need a storage space. It's, um, I, it's Potentially I could go for silos or even boxes or something like that first. Especially for something like this where there doesn't seem to be... It feels like the... Um, the purple geodes are in a minority as far as, yeah, inventory score. Uh, let's put the warehouse down, and then I'll have some inventory space. Where'd the car go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> so small when it's just lying on the floor. Okay, so stage, the next one, is to start running all of this through sorters, which I have several, I have 12 of, tw yeah, 12 of, conveniently. Now, I believe these tend to be pretty... I've run out of inserters again, for goodness sake. Um, I just can't, uh, put that there, shift everything down a bit, or I can put it down here. Let's, let's, let's set these up first, and that means head off and get some more inserters. Um, and as always, massively overshoot the inserters, because I can never notice them on the way past. There they are. Is that excessive? Probably. Let's put in four for each one. That's probably also excessive, but never mind. It's nice and easy to wire up though. And um, so these chunk ones are pretty sure to five different five different products. Gee. Okay. Um, some of those should have been near side inserters. Out of space. Uh, <laughs> I suppose. Let's see. I could have for each output. I could have a column running upwards that smelts it. That might fit in quite nicely. Okay. So let's start here. Um, with slag, because I can remember we produced that. And that I need to go to um, crushers like these. And I'll be out the belt there. <coughs> the next one can come in here. And that'll be well. Let's pull out the zinc at this point because we know we want that. That's the one. We're, that's the one we're excited about after all. I assume zinc ore is just then smelted like a uh, everything else. No, no zinc is then complicated. <laughs> Oh, good grief. And I'll get lead out of it as well, that's nice. Um, but I need oxygen and I need... What? So I can make zinc ingots. Alright, so I need either oxygen and lead, or carbon, oxygen. The lead seems to be a um, somewhat closed loop, though, at least. Oops. Uh, in that lead goes in, lead comes out. And I think that's... Yeah, that's equal. So that's, that's, that is a closed loop. <clears throat> but it also turns oxygen into sulfur dioxide effectively. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and that's done in a chemical furnace. Okay. Uh, let's not do the zinc first. Let's do um, one of the other ores, like iron ore first. And then probably... Because that that just goes through a normal bog standard furnace like this, I think. I'm sure it does. Uh, iron ore... What? No. Iron ore in a furnace turns into iron plates. Good. Easy. <clears throat> Same with copper ore. Copper ore goes through a furnace, turns into copper plates. Belt. <coughs> Belt. Uh, oh, oh, what else do we make? Aluminium ore. What do we do with that? Turn it into processed aluminium, aluminium hydroxide, and my catalysts. I don't know. Is it even worth turning it into processed aluminium? No, I think we probably just store the aluminium. Possibly in the same warehouse we've got back there. I am in, honestly still in shock over how complicated the zinc processing is. Can't even find it. Can't even find it. Let's uh, there we go. That one. Okay, let's let's turn these on and let it flow through and make sure I've got all my sorting and things correct and see how this see what it's like for speed as well. Um, how much of the input it's going to end up using up. 
should have about enough time to see. Oh, that's pretty good actually. That's about. It's an urn. <laughs> no, actually, it's using it a lot faster than the flotation that flotation cells are producing it. But that's okay because I've got room to put in quite a lot more flotation cells. But I haven't got room to put in more sorters. So yeah, okay. Pretty happy with that. This has obviously got backed up straight away because um, yeah, that's fine. And we've got the aluminium here that we're just going to shove in a in a box and forget about it for the time being. Okie dokes. Right. Um, to be honest, at this point, I think I'm going to say my brain is full. I've had some. I've done so much thinking about um, the dealing with the, the all the um, the off, offshoots of this Jeevalite uh, chunking that I'm going to call this an episode here for the sake of my sanity. Um, yeah, it's a nice view though. It looks like it's a nice um, nice system I've got growing up here. So yeah, I'm going to call it here. We'll um, we'll see how long an episode that, that that turns out to be. I've been done, done about an hour and fifty two of of, um, of playing, but I suspect it's going to drop down to a normal sort of length of episode. So, as always, thank you for watching. Um, if you've tried any of this Jeeva Light nonsense, do let me know in the comments. Um, if you've got any suggestions for things I should be doing better, that's always nice to hear as well. Um, if it's just an observation that I've been really stupid somewhere, then, well, I don't know. It depends if it's too late for me to change, change on that one or not. Um, but anyway, as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to hearing from you. See you in the next episode.